Hey. Hello, no viewers. I didn't actually like copy this to any channels myself to say we're going live, but okay. So we got Yay. we got Ewok Junior versus X Ray Creator tonight for KFPL Season Two. So this should be exciting, right? They are hello, keyboard community. They're about as close to teammates as you can get without actually being on the same team, right? I guess. We, we did qualify as Valentine's Day special, that, so that is, right. is my Valentine. Aww. We have so. actually spent numerous weeks training together as well. <laughs> yep. So, how do you guys feel coming into this? How do you feel, X-Ray? You know... I feel nervous just like I do before any game, to be honest. But we'll see how it goes. This one, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling fine. I have a good friend here. Win or lose, uh, I know that one of us is going to go ahead and walk away a little bit, a little bit further. X X-ray does have his win already, so. Um, you know, honestly, when you're playing with friends, it is for fun. I, this is a little bit more relaxing than normal. You guys, are you guys well practiced? Do you know what your bands are? Do you have your band tool up? Um, I did pull up the band tool. Would you like me to go ahead and initiate that, Mr. X-Ray? Yeah, I can do okay. that. Um, when we are talking about bands, I just have one quick question for X-Ray. Are you ready? Okay. X-Ray, um, you know, since you have this sweet team and you get lots of practice, could we just take a practice round? I mean, there's nine minutes left, and as teammates, you know, not on the same team. But Dan, are you sure you're streaming? Uh, I'm never <laughs> sure of anything. Yes, I'm <laughs> sure I am streaming. Huh. You're really ruining all this fun here. I was going to ask X-Ray if we could just play a game to warm up, you know, so I, I would know this. I have a very important game tonight, and I want to be prepared for it. I don't think what? we can finish the game in nine minutes. <laughs> oh, you can. Oh. You can. I what are you just... trying to say? Are you trying to say that JR is a slow player? It, it says I am streaming Keyforge. Yeah, I got it. I okay. found it. I don't know why no. it wasn't working, but it's working I, now. I, I will. I will say. I will say this, X-ray. Knowing that, um, you know, I would normally practice with certain people like you or with sheep, and sheep's on your team. That made this week a little bit unique in its normal um, practice routine. I, I, I was able to get some games in, and I appreciate um, s some other KeyForge friends who, who have helped me out. Um, so. But, but it did make it challenging when you're used to having a small niche group of people to be able to work with. So, so indeed, I did practice with X-Ray, and I was just mopping the floor with his face. So I have high expectations for you now, Ewok. <laughs> Very <laughs> high. <laughs> Very high. What did we all ban? Are we allowed to know what they ban on uh, stream? When, once they've done it in the ban tool, they can tell us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was waiting for X-Ray to join. But... Have you sent it to me? I put it into this chat with all of us on the call. He walked. Oh, this okay. is X-ray. You got to look out your window and look for the smoke signals. So do you want me to put the website in? Would that help too, bud? No, no, no. no I got it. Okay. Technology is beyond me. So what we would all like to see as a match is trip to guy versus yak street Two ninety sass Coda speed decks going at each other's face. So, just saying, we would like to see isn't, that isn't, match. Isn't that matchup just whoever pulls the right combos first? No, actually, I sadly, I think Yak Street might be slightly flavored because of the control of the week. Right? Or no, that doesn't have the CTW, but it does have the key cheat. So... It does have the key cheat. Does. The key cheat can be a big swing in, in a game like that. Mm. All right, let's see if we got... Actually, I still don't have you in. Oh, goodness. Now now we lost it. Are, are, are you here? Are you... I'm, I'm in. I'm in the conversation. I'm in. Do you see me? 
No, I don't. That's why. Uh, it says you're here. No, it doesn't say that I'm there. Okay, send me another one. God, we'll try this again, but we'll get you in. What happens if I join your thing? Does that break it? Yeah, Probably. Do don't do that. Yeah, don't do not do that. We already have enough. All right, bud. Come on in. All right, so we're waiting for the exciting ban, and then we will kick them out of this channel so we can start thinking how these matches go. We don't want to... I'm trying to look. Where Are you guys in competitive, or did you guys post it in non-competitive? No, he's put it, we're using the triad ban tool. Yeah, they're not, they haven't started any games yet. Oh, yeah, you no. haven't even put it in a, you're not even in a table yet. I thought you guys were, might have made a table. Turns out that's not the case. All right, so X-Ray is there. We are now good. Let's get this in. My strike has been made. Oh, you know, I tried to give you your wish. I just want that known. What do you think about that, X-Ray? Okay, come on. What are our strikes? Give us the good news. All right, so I banned Trader and X-Ray banned Trip to Guy. Okay, that was my prediction. Not that I can yep. tell you guys, but that was my prediction. I did not like the speed of Trip to Guy. Yeah, no one no one does. Yeah. Trip to Guy is is Ewok's auto ban. There's definitely more interesting, or it's a little bit harder against X Ray's pile of decks. Yeah, uh the the Infernus Hysteria suite on two of those makes it really interesting. I I, I, we'll talk after. I'm very curious to see yeah. some of the training and what you guys came up with. Uh, X-Ray, would you like to create while they talk, or would you like me to? All right. I so, yeah, create. you guys can hang up from this, and then when we're all done, you can join back and talk some more smack at each other. Sounds good. X-Ray, you creating or, or me? You know. I'll create. I'll create. Smackety smack, smack. smack. Smackety smack, smack. All right. Bye, Ewok. Okay, so we have got... Only the highest of quality for you, Z. Yeah, so I now mean, Dan, then, Dan's yeah. running the stream tonight. I don't know what you're expecting. Well, we're now now that we know what's um, banned, right? So we're going to see Hellcast and Yak Street go up against Xerxes and Sterling. I guess we wait and see what they want to start with. Um, I, I did actually, I was testing Xerxes against Trader, and that, uh, Xerxes did quite well in that matchup. Xerxes is low-key a decent AOA deck. Yeah. <laughs> like, <clears throat> it doesn't look that crazy, but it gets a little nuts. Just waiting for them to actually, you know, oh, here's a table that we can... Join in on. Please log in. How am I not logged in? I guess I'm not logged in. There, now I'm logged in. And I gotta find it all over again. There it is. I don't know what they used for their password. I'm gonna guess it's that, and it was. Okay. They didn't tell us what their starting decks were, so that's hard. No, to they say. didn't, but I guess we'll figure it out as we go. And Ewok seems to be having an issue getting in. Capitals. Those capital letters are tough. They are tough. You got to hit a whole set, another key. So so we did cast uh, Ewok's first game. So we're hoping when he's on Sterling, we see a little better play there. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if he knows. I've kind of given him the rundown on Xerxes and okay. how it kind of needs to operate and kind of the pitfalls, but we'll see what he does. Well, and I, I definitely talked to him about how you abuse Archimedes in that deck. Yes, you definitely abuse, well, at least attempt to. Yeah, right. You don't cause... always get to abuse Archimedes, but sometimes you do. Yes. And then, so Sterling is actually really interesting in this. It's not crazy but with the ee the double exhumes and some speed yeah it actually has 
a decent chance against these decks because they all have dis. And once you've purged out those three infernuses and Hellcast, if you can manage it. And what's nice is he knows there's a combo in Sterling now. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> if you can purge out the infernuses and Hellcast, you're significantly up. Yes. Z is laughing at us again here, but uh, that is also that he doesn't uh, purge you to death first. We'll see. And he shadow selfs an urchin. Yeah, okay. So Ewok got lost. Hasn't found the game? Has found the no, game? he's in. Oh, he's going. Go. They're okay. going. They're going to town. He just uh, played shadow self and urchin, I, I guess. Little, I'm a little interested in that play. I mean, right, you did play so, an Imperial Trader as well, but... All right, so we've got Sterling versus... Versus Yak Street. Oh, uh, I am opposite here right now, right there. I did not realize Ewok was at the top of my screen. Okay. So what do, what do we think happens in this match? Sterling... I'm... Um, we got a really interesting play that first turn with the, the Imperial Trader, which allows him to peek. But, I mean, more or less just gives him the Ember and gives him information. But then the Urchin next to Shadow Self was really interesting because it's an Urchin for no gain. Well, it's just turning cards. Like, that. that is something you're... Because uh, you know, uh, we don't know how hands were revealed. He did have this nice, like, succubus... They're not supposed to have hands to revealed them. for this. Right, no, no, I know that, but I don't know, like, I don't know if that was there already or what the deal was, so, tough to say. Yeah, it looks I'd... like Ewok found the combo early, so that's, that's good. I need to switch to a faster updating screen here. All right. Yeah, so, there's definitely a thing with Oh, the that combo came down too late. Finds combo early game, but can't can't capitalize on it with the memory chip and the crazy killing machine already done. But he does have the Nexus, which really only does things for crazy killing machine. Not so much memory chip. I'm not sure what did he do. Did he fight the urchin? Yeah, he fought it into the grub. Which makes sense. Get urchin off the board, get the grub off the board. But I'm not sure if this is going the way that Ewok wants it to. But here we go. We got Igor down. I'm gonna let him peek a few. And then obviously I'm assuming we're gonna see the automaton fight. It can't kill anything, so it's not fighting. That's very true. Well, it can't kill I mean, well, maybe, No, I can't because that's elusive. Yeah, everything is well. Carl Phantom, yeah, he's elusive. Everything's elusive, or he gives him amber. So I don't right. you see a fight. Yeah, you're right. I mean, what I would be doing is the crazy killing machine. Uh, we might still see that because that will kill the automaton, possibly. Um, so this is going really well for Ewok. He's just it efficiently turning cards. There's never anything wrong with that. Did he discard? That gizmo? No, he's been Igoring, so he has to choose it. Okay, got it, got it. I was just—I was trying to look through the, through the little—I uh, don't even know what you want to call that—the game updater on the right-hand side to figure out what was going on. Yeah. So, I mean, like he's building a board. Yak Street doesn't. He's got uh, a good board. Doesn't he's, do yeah. much. I mean, it's got one gateway to dis. But it's also got very little efficiency, so getting to that gateway of dis is get there or you don't. Uh, but the you know big swing is Yak Street can make a ton of amber. That's the big twin bolt. I don't know if you noticed that, but that was a big twin bolt to take out a good chunk of dis or a good chunk of shadows. I think that's actually one of the, one of the things I've seen uh, Joe, who used to own Yak Street, um, by. Getting that, it's got the artifacts with the speed signal, the master plan, that it can get a lot of effect out of that Carlo Phantom. If you time it. Right. Mm. Well, 
What's X ray? And I don't know what X ray is gonna do. I mean, he's got equal. We haven't seen. I'll say we haven't seen a ton of untamed. So that would be my next guess. Nocturnal's gonna bat down probably most of his logos. Two logos and the inspector. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't do the automaton. Very interesting. I kind of thought it'd be an automaton and whatever two other wow. logos he and wanted he had to, to give up the full moon. Like he's just taken bad three card turn after bad three card turn. Yeah. I guess now he's I mean, got the Nepseed, so he might be able to draw into the real big on tame turn yet. Yep, yeah, he's got the Nepseed if he needs it back, but yeah. Are we just saying bad RNG? I don't know. I, I still bat down that automaton. I don't I don't <laughs> Exhaust Igor, Igor, Eddie. Unless he's going to kill the automaton, which doesn't do anything except kill your Nexus. The Morpheus All right. is a very potent card in Sterling. It sure is. There goes Double Sensor Chief. Yeah, I already wasn't forging. Yeah, but I mean, hey. Take the wins where you can get them. That automaton's getting ugly. Oh, yeah, no, no actions next turn. Uh, Ewok being the nice guy saying stealth mode is played. Yep. X-ray right into this. This thing does have the speed ziggle grecking. Um, that that is super powerful, especially in a match like this. Although there's All right, a speed so ziggle. He's gonna he, he's gonna force him to kill the imp. But right now, like, unless he does something else, Ewok can just go back to Logos and handle Reap. this really easy. Yep. I don't know what removal he's got yeah, in his I hand. I mean, like, that was just another bad two-card turn. Yep. He must really be trying to build, and then, like, one of the things, I don't know if X-Ray is not remembering right now, but Sterling doesn't have... Um, scaling amber control really like it has scaling amber pain it can make you pay a lot but it can't take the amber it doesn't have the IG so like that's that's where Xerxes did very well is with the double mm. double scaling amber cards like you just yep. can't ever go high against it yeah because it'll logos. take it all <laughs> and it likes to all right, so yeah, we're going logos. Not a huge shocker there. Hmm. Order of operations um, is sort of something here. Like, do you just fire the crazy killing machine and see if that does it? Like, that's a very good card to play right now because all houses are on board. Killing the Nepseed or one of the disc creatures is fantastic. Getting the uh, Ember Imp with that and then just be able to fight the. Grecking with the other thing. And he hasn't played any cards yet, so... I mean, he's fully open. I don't well, know. He's already that, burned up. Yeah, one Reap, so that way you have a good Logos target. So let's see right. that. So two discards are going to die. Yep, and yep. There's Ember Imp gone and Grecking gone. Crazy killing machine. Paying bills. Yeah, that random, was a big one. Random ass luck. I mean, Andy knows, you know, down to five cards, he knows what's in his draw stack, what the majority of it was. And not, and not only that, we haven't uh, really seen him play much this. So I got to imagine he's got a mitt full, and there's a ton in his, in his draw. File now too. Just saying, like, answer my Logos, or I'm just going to play Logos for the rest of this game. Data Forge for nothing. I think he forgot to reap with... Oh, no, there was the reap with the automaton. Okay. Yeah, it just it went quick. You didn't really see it. So the uh, arise is looking really good now with this. Like, yeah, it sure is. Are... But he just went into shadows. So okay. So, oh, okay. No, Fagin, so we're can't... gonna see some cheesy little steel here. That's nice. Yeah, I don't know if you play the speed sigil against this deck though. Uh I mean, like you haven't what... seen EE -E yet. But EE -E doesn't care about speed sigil. Like that for the most part, they're all play effect creatures, and the babbling bibliophile is the best reap creature. Spears. This is Spears is a serious true. Thing. 
Like, the Spears looks like it's still in deck, so maybe because of the Spears you wouldn't do it, but right now, X-Ray's got to feel like he's behind. Oh, he is. I mean, even though it's zero keys to zero keys. Now, this is where the question is, is does Ewok go to a Spears play and just tear up the board that way? Or, you know, tear through his deck that way? I don't know if he's really got... What does he uh, do, to, Does he have... I forget what's in this. He's got the double Garcias. Oh, no. Looks like he's got a mitt full of dis, and he's got to get rid of it. And this is... And I'm assuming he's going to have the EE. -E. Oh. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. This is painful. Like... And we're not all these gonna... disc creatures before the arise. Mm hmm Wow. I mean, like, gotta say, this is feeling very, very favored to Sterling. Hello, Joe. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, this is gonna get kind of uh I don't know. This is this is the too tough to climb mountain at this point. This feels rough. Uh I mean that we haven't seen anything for Untame, so there's a pretty easy Untame cheeky. Kichi, the wild, um, the Witch of the Wilds are now live with the Speed Sigil. The Kichi's in DAC, all of the things, so he could very easily forge a key on this next, next turn, turn without even sure. trying, right? For sure. I don't know what's still in. Yeah, no, that's untamed. We've seen two cards, so, or I should say three. Yep, Nature's Call is still out there. So he can he can go get a full moon back if he needs to. Now, I kind of actually wonder if Ewok, by playing the exhumes over discarding the zooms because the gateway is still in deck. I wonder if he would have just been better off Amber punishing. It looks like he's got some more because he just he just purged a shuler. Yeah. So he might have oh, had enough to okay. take care of it. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah, Morpheus into a double archiving Eddie. Um, oh, he he discarded it. He discarded it. Zoom. All right. He must have played one, discarded one. Oh, playing the Bornet gets to hit a Witch of the Eye. Uh, finds a Dew Fairy, a Nerve Blast, Witch of the Eye, Master Plan, and Dusk Runner. Yeah, the Witch has got to go. Oh, and I forgot Bornet's purges it, doesn't it? Yeah, sure does. Yeah, that's kind of so gross. Now he can't even Nepseed it back. I mean, this feels like Sterling is doing very well. I guess we will yes. see. Um, you know, the Nature's Call fixes the Amber Punishment of the Eddie, gets rid of all the upgrades on the Reassembling Automaton. So he can still definitely key cheat quite easily at low cost. He could potentially Let's make another hammer. Quarter makes the keys cost what? Plus three? Plus four? Plus three. Quadricorder is up to three, is up right? To plus yeah, three. max of three. And then plus two for Eddie. So yeah, eleven. Right, but what I'm saying is one nature's call, and both of those cards go away, and he gets to Pan. replay his dust pixie. Yeah. I mean, there is a potential that he double key cheats. I guess. Well, I guess Witch of the Eye. Yeah, because Witch of the Eye could be live. Yeah. Maybe not quite a double because the full moon. Well, I mean, he, key cheat, he nature's calls, gets rid of the things that are hurting him the most. He's at six now, so you play a Witch of the Eye. I don't know. It's possible. It's not crazy. Yeah. I mean, there's a ton of untamed, but there's actually still quite a lot of shadows left. But he has to go dis, so it's got to be gateway and arise or some mix of that. What stuff. do you What do you arise right now, though? Your dis, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's all you. I mean, but he got rid of most of the good stuff. I don't even know what he all took back. Okay, now is there that's a gateway the... or not? That's a there is no gateway. Oh, boy. That is not promising. I mean, having to play back into that board. Like, Data Forge is back in circle with the babbling bibliophile. Like, there is a potential for... to cheat out. 
puts the Eddie down. Plays the poltergeist. Killing some stuff. What's he got? One Logos card. One. There goes EE. E. There goes Babbling Bibliophile. But that was a pretty good turn. No, oh, it's a poltergeist. I didn't see what was being played. It didn't show up on my screen. I'm like, how is he getting to do this? And then I saw the poltergeist I've hit the box. I've now lost track of what Ewok could be doing because he reshuffled. Bad. After the reshuffle, um, my, my brain is now lost. I would assume this turn... I mean, like, because... I guess of, I don't know. I guess he goes... key cheats, I really like reaping with the Garcia right now, just because of key cheats. He does have a... He has a second Garcia. He's got a Garcia in hand. Because we never saw the second Garcia, as far as I remember. Yeah. Okay. So he has the Garcia in hand, yeah, so he can set it up lines. pretty high. I still wonder a little bit about playing to the board when you know the gateway is still out there. Um, I mean, dust imp, dust imp, that's going to give him a four, so that's not. So, I mean, like, a turn that is sitting on x-ray right now is oh, geez, is gateway, nepseed your arise back, and replay the disc creatures again. Killing the ember imps was big. Like, that's a, that's a big deal. There is still actually an ember imp left in that deck, too. There is, but spears just got dropped. Live, yep. And there's the plus, well, it's going to be plus two. I'm assuming he's got a Garcia in hand. Again, I don't it does have two, hand. right? Yeah, it does have two. He gets to stun Fagan, and he still gets to flush hand. Oh! oh. Well, that's <laughs> going to shut down uh, some disc stuff, I'm sure. Yeah, I think that probably... That might steal it. Solidifies us pretty well. Um, did he a, just need past turn? That's a double stealth mode deck, so he may be sitting on the stealth mode to go again. Did he not use... Oh, no, he did use his spears. I was like, did he not even use his spears? But it was one of those so fast. So yeah, no use spears. Oh. Okay. Well, here we go. Which of the eye... What's he take back that he can't play? Uh, was a full moon. Was he a nocturnal maneuver. Uh, I mean, I I gotta tell you, I fully expect uh, Star Alliance stealth mode again this next round. Reach which of the eye to take back the nocturnal maneuver. Okay, makes sense. Yep, gotta lock that Spears down. Yep, and probably lock down the Garcia. Oh, but he can't play the Nocturnal Maneuver, so... Oh, that's true. I totally forgot about that. He can't play that, oh, can he? Oh, he must have missed that. He couldn't I play. totally uh, forgot about the, the stealth mode. That, that was a fold there at the end. All right. So, Sterling is now gone, so now it's all up to Xerxes to... Woot woot. Take these things down. Uh, Xerxes might have trouble against this deck. Um... What against Yak play? Street? Uh, so I played Xerxes versus Yak Street twice, and I won both games. No, oh, okay. Yeah, Yak Street, I can see it going to have some issues. It's going to take some finesse. But, like, he never drew a good hand against me. It was it oh. was rather brutal, and I did draw very well. There's not a ton of horrible draws with Xerxes. I mean, there is. There definitely is. Um, the only thing nice about it is it does have the double oubliette, so we can take care of those dust dumps quite quickly and not really have to deal with them. Oh, I'm trying to find... There it is. Here's the game. Now it's... Will I guess the password again? Yep. Let's see if I guess right. I did. Yay. All right, so this game, we're on Xerxes versus... I'm surprised he's sticking with Yak Street, to tell you the truth. I don't know. I can see Yak Street giving it some issues. Um, 
The only thing that's nice, like I said, is you have the Oubliette, which has a boatload of targets. Targets you actually don't mind, like, um... Okay, so which here, is a three power, is it not? We got, we've got Xerxes versus Yak Street. AOA, good old AOA. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I just drew well, kept him off the board. But so he, so actually, I think the practice may save him in the end here. Because one game X Ray completely played into my IG. Oh, first turn um, Ember Imp. Well, I mean, it's... not terrible because this deck does have Xerxes does have a ton of way of dealing with yeah, it. Banish Call or double Oubliettes. Yep, I mean, so it's not crazy. Yeah, I'm guessing he's got the Oubliette gets right out of the game. Oh, that's a, that's a hot hit. The Oubliettes are super strong against this because it takes away the Arise. It takes mm -hmm. away the ember if you hit the dust imps. Yeah, I mean that's that's the nice thing is that the oubliettes are really really live. I mean it can it can hit almost anything in this deck. It does hit quite a lot, and a lot of the cards, like I said, they either want to come back or they have destroyed effects, and that all goes away. And it does have the ability to you know TMTP Ronnie. So if if. Uh... If it gets out of line, I guess would be the best way of saying that. Yeah. I say if he's got the brand, he plays it now. Because either Bren's going to be your beat stick for the rest of the game, or he's going to kill like, you and allow you to steal him. The worst you see is like a nature's call against it, right? And yeah. He gets yeah. Amber again. That is one thing is uh, Xerxes is not very good at killing its own Bren. <laughs> no, it's it's quite horrible. Um, the only yeah. combo you really have early, is. Early speed hill. So Titan Librarian. I made huge, huge work out of the Titan Librarian. Mm -hmm. um, that is a card is. that does not get the respect it does. It is a card I would love to see reprinted. I really um, like that card. The big combo in the deck is you exhume your own brand and then kill him with the unlocked gateway. Right. Well, it's next to uh, Archimedes. Yeah, if you can find it. It's good. No fight, so just another reap. Strange Gizmo this early, kind of interesting, but I guess it kills the speed signal that Yak Street really likes. Yeah. But you in Xerxes is the better board control deck, so... I don't know if I like playing it with Carlo out, but I guess it's, uh, it's a wash. Well, Carlo is each time you, you play an artifact, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that's true. Who's the guy who steals one every time your opponent plays one? Well, there's the Tentacus that you gotta pay, and then there's that other yeah, disc creature. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking of. Oh, yeah. A live Grecking stealing a Titan Librarian, I think. Or does he steal the Brent? No, the Brent still the... gets destroyed, so I wouldn't steal that, but, yeah. Yeah, you steal the Librarian. That's a good steal, right? Like, yeah, he's gotta efficiency. get him off a of flank, which he does. Adding efficiency to Yak Street, pretty hot. Yeah. I'm almost to the point of if he has it, play it. What, the unlock we'll gateway? Yeah. Oh, heck yeah. If you have it, play it and kind of go from there. Standardized testing right now is uh, stupid Carlo Phantom. Kind of breaks that thing it's, from being busted. Yeah, it's, it's Carlo and Overlord would be what dies. So oh, standardized testing isn't yeah. awesome. Well, uh, well, standardized testing, if he has another Logos creature, he could double fight the Carlo and then pop it mm. for threes and sevens. That would be okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. The, the only thing is, like, the Brend would steal three if Grecking kills it, but then it's sitting on the other side of the board for him to get the destroyed effect, too. So, that's... That's bad news. I'd almost think about popping the Grecking on a fight because, well, now Grecking can't kill him on a fight because Grecking is injured. So, right. I mean, Bren can kill the Grecking, though. Of course, Grecking if, can if worse comes kill to worse. the Titan mechanic and then get exhumed. Umbra. Okay, so we found that. The only problem is Umbra still blocks. <laughs> still blocks you killing your own Bren. What is it? Double fight the Fagin now? Uh, that 
doesn't put you on your Maybe. back. I don't know. Guess we'll see what else he's got in hand. You think he wants to go to to more than a five check here? Put himself in that. Fight uh, Umbra. Who's Umbra going to fight? Trying to fire that strange gizmo. Because he's going to fight. Certain. Um, I can't see what's going on. It just he, He's exhausted, but I don't know what he's doing. Okay, sticks the pit demon. Okay, he's going to kill the and then, pit demon. Oh, see, I think he had to fight the Grecking there. Well, but the Grecking doesn't get as a... Well, now the Grecking gets to steal the Umbra. So, yeah, you're right. You probably yeah. had to think about that. Well, but this... Or he can steal your brand. Ooh, lights out. Very interesting okay. choice because of Speed Ziggle. Like, well, easy Titan Librarian, because you just get that back. Right. And oh, what do you do, Grecking? I don't know about that Grecking. Grecking had to go, but I think I no. kill I kill the Grecking because, because I think Grecking's gonna take the Brend. Well now you've and then healed you're... yeah, you've just healed the Grecking. Oh trash is the yeah. TMTP. That's always a tough choice too. No, you gotta play the TMTP. If you cl if Xerxes gets clogged, it's it, it so, just like it clogs all the way down I, the line. I don't think that was a great turn because now X-Ray just gets to dink around, make some amber, and let the strange gizmo clear the board. Or not even, I mean, like... Um, make amber? All right, so we're going to go shadows. I guess he could take him off here. That's a possibility. Right? Um, is easy. it? I mean, like... He's got a needs... nerve blast, so... He... Or, I mean, one urchin. Urchin, reap. Yeah, so he yeah. takes him off with... Urchin, Reap, Fagan, Urchin. Okay, fair enough. Well, but that this doesn't quite take him off yet because the Titan mechanics keeping it. Yep, is on the flank. Might have missed that play too. We will see. Unless he's got nope, he doesn't. So he's going to forge the key here. Think he might have missed the mechanic. We'll see. Strange Gizmo destroys the world. And he steals three, which is uh, pretty awesome. But, but the problem the is, is that he's got to find a way to get rid of two. Well, the dusting keeps him. Well, you, you know, sometimes you just see keys. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, he might well, have other things. Like I don't we know. We got a Ronnie coming down or a swindle. Oh, swindle for the win. I told you that swindle. card's low key fantastic. Oh, that's so sick. That puts him on a key and keeps him off key. Although so, I have a feeling we're going to see a key charge here. Uh, so during practice, um, X-Ray basically said he doesn't think code is very good anymore. And <laughs> he's going to reaffirm his own beliefs. So this is a really sad on tame turn in that all he's doing is playing creatures um, into no, what... No, uh... Into what could no, be a full moon can't testing. regrowth. Oh, that's brutal. Standardized and testing or unlock gateway just like shuts them right back down. Although Ewok needs to be a little bit thoughtful about that arise. Right. That was such a sick play. That was so to go right back in and then swindle the Alpha Omega that everyone shits on. I discarded just take it every time me. I saw it. Oh, so good. So good. Okay, quit oh, rolling over your bad card. Does he have the Exum unlocked gateway? He's gonna do it! What? What's Exum he's gonna, gonna do with? Unlocked he's gonna gateway. Exum Brend, and then he's gonna unlock gateway to oh. kill his own Brend. Oh, no, he Exums a Titan Librarian. No, he does not have anything good, so he's just okay. moving some cards. Interesting. I guess. Why? Oh, okay. I was gonna say, There's why the would he Another exhum. Now he might put the Bren down. No, he exhumes the Umbra. I'm he didn't you. have the I unlock think, gateway. I think I most certainly exhumed the Bren somewhere in there. Um, the if you have the unlock gateway, I probably do. But if I don't, okay, I mean, we're getting is... down eh, 15 cards. He's not that close. This is another... Is this a double Fagin? What happened here? No, he, when did Fagin... he regrowth the Fagin. Oh, you regrowthed it, Roger. Okay, so the urchin is good because it really helps against standardized testing here. Yep. 
And standard but the testing is lost a lot of live. value as the, the Tesmol is right? live though. Don't forget, yeah, Tesmol is live. Is real live right now. But what would you call? He has got at this a point a lot of dis left in deck. I, I would think he has to call this. That's what's left. He walks about equal split in his deck right now. And we know he's got the Logos Titan Librarian in hand. He, well, you know, he does have two Bren still. Yeah, he is a pretty okay. equal split. So here's a thing, is I wonder if he... If he was getting to check this turn, he should have probably called Shadows. But he might not be getting to check. Streak is a tough one. I don't know if he's got any more critters to play. I Let's think he's out. out. He might have a dust Schuller, up, but that's Schuller's about it. Got to kill a witch of the eye. That might just be a sort of bad well, turn. No, he, just he said he eye. said he can't choose. He cannot choose untamed next turn. Yeah, so it's either going to be this or it's going to be shadows, which I would assume shadows. But we'll see. Man, it's a pretty good amateur turn, but. That IG is still in deck, right? The IG is still in deck. But at this point, I'm more worried about the... Kind of more worried about the key cheat. Uh, for sure. Except, I mean, like, it's just so nice that the speed signal is dead. Yeah. I so thought he had it that turn. I'm like, watch him. He's going to exhume the Bren to kill it and just wipe the board. That's so sick. I would assume we see deaths from X right here. I don't know. I You might very well see the shadows just because that's what's on board. And right. to kill the... Uh, yeah, he's going to go shadows. He's going to fight Urchin Nexus into Tesmol. Unless he has some other kill, but... Like, he's got to kill. Plays the shadow itself, probably Dirt next to Nexus. Well. Actually, there's nothing left to do with the Nexus. I guess there's shards in the deck. Well, no, like I said, he's going to double fight the Tesmol. Well, no, because he, he played the shadow self next to the Nexus. Huh. Which, I guess, I'd probably play it next to the Dew Fairy? I guess the 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 shadow self absorbs some of it, but, like, there's there's only two shards left, which really aren't the end of the world if you have to, you know, not play them. I mean, I've never won a game okay. because of any of the shards, so... Here, okay, Oubliette to the Fagin. Fagin. Fagin makes sense. Ronnie to steal two. I, I'm gonna, he's probably got one more. Maybe not. Uh, real bad limit draw. Awful card. Umbra sticks two into a shadow cell for fun, or two into a bear? He, I guess it doesn't matter. I almost stick that Lamidra between Streak and Umbra instead. Yeah. I mean, at least give him elusive. I mean, I know one's already elusive, but give the other one the elusive, too. Yeah. Might as well. And that's it, huh? Still not quite on check, though, but he's up two keys, he's five amber to four. That is pretty brutal. Yeah, and, and is, what's funny... There's definitely an untamed key cheat bouncing shenanigan. Well, turn. we're going untamed right now, so that's, I'm assuming, what's going to kind of happen right now. I mean, a not... seed, eh, it's not, like, crazy, crazy right now, but gets you back in the fight. I mean, you, you reap for four. Which is eight. Five, the bear. Five. Well, with the bear is five. Yeah. I would say. I would say if you. If you. I don't know if you fight with. The, I don't know what's in hand, but you might want to. Like, kill a uh, streak. Because he is. He is assault too. So you can kill him at least. I don't know if that's really hurting him right now or not. We got a, what is that, Dust Pixie? So, I mean, you're getting six. Can he get to 14? We just taken Amber, which 
that Keechit's got to be here, otherwise he's giving this game away. Which, I mean, that... there's a there's a nocturnal. I think he's trying to. Well, no, because he can't. He can't get it back because the nocturnal's gone. I mean, if he yeah, if he doesn't have the key cheat and the IG is over there, like this game is shut down. Close the door. Everybody go home. I just received a message about Xerxes, and somebody asked me for it. <laughs> what I wanted. Well, now now that it beat a deck that sold for over a thousand dollars, uh, it's a thousand dollar deck. Right? That's what that it sounds like to me. <laughs> it's like I'm looking to upgrade my AOA spot. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, like Xerxes definitely, I mean, it's doing good here. Uh, it, it has its, its pitfalls. Not, it's not it shut down here because the Nepseed and the potential, like, although I don't see how it happens, but if he could stick a Witch of the Eye, like, he could double Kichi. It is a double Witch of the Eye deck. I mean, it's not crazy, but Without the speed sigil, I don't know if it li- if the witch makes it yep. and gets any you get any use out of it. I'm just wondering if he has a witch of the eye in the hand. You play witch of the eye. You use the nepseed to put the other witch of the eye down and say you can't kill them both. But then he would also have to key cheat right now. Like, but then we also have an un- we, you also have an unlocked gateway still floating around, well, so you sure, can just destroy the board. You're so far behind. You have to press for some win condition right and just say you know do something about there's it your key, there's your key okay. charge you wanted that was that was real important what really hurts is he doesn't have the amber to forge the next key to then nepseed key charge right so he's just you know he's just he's a he's a did he reap with the bear or fight with the bear no he, re- reaped, he with reaped with the bear, with the bear. And again, like if he'd had the nature's call, this might have been a different game. Because if he could have yeah. nature's called his dust pixie, yep. to be able to key cheat again. So then you key cheat, threaten second key, and then key cheat again. So you put him on a clock where this. I mean, like all really of a sudden, isn't on a clock right now. I mean, he's gonna threaten key again, yeah. no matter which house he calls. I mean, like this game is closer than it looks. We're going to go Dis, so I'm curious on what he could have. I don't know why you play Shard of Pain there. Because the Unlock Gateway is about to hit the board? Okay, fair enough. I mean, why wouldn't you play the Shard of Pain? If you want to... I, I mean, if, if you are going to Unlock Gateway, fine. Oh, well, maybe not. What did he, what did he banish? He banished the Dew Fairy. Unlock would be really bad play. Okay, so nope, uh, there is not an unlock gateway coming. There is just trying to shut the board down and get enough amber to win the game himself. Which I mean, Xerxes does have a bunch of targeted removal. So, what does he put? Okay, well, he's got two ones to pick from. Uh, what do you put in your opponent's archive? Oof. Um, oh, he already put something in the archive, right? Oh, what banish, did he put in? Banish the Dew Fairy. Call what did he put in the archive? The Dew Fairy. Oh. Reaps with the Shuler says, take me off eight, sir. Yep. I mean, not, not that this... Well, can this deck do it? Both urchins are in play. There's a third urchin somewhere. But Fagin's out of the picture? No, where's Fagin at? Did he get... Uh, yeah, he got, been purged. he got purged. Carlo, That's what I thought. Carlo Phantom's out, so that steel is gone. There is... Does this Schuler, have anything? Gateway Arise Schuler. That's only two. Poltergeist doesn't do anything. No. So Unless, is, I mean... So, let's see here. For three, he has got... He can Nepsie back his Pixie. Uh I mean, where's like, the regrowth? I Hold say, on, where's the regrowth? No, nope, that's in there too. So I gotta say, I think I think Walk just put this game in the bag. I don't. I mean, I'm not seeing it out. The shooter I'm twice not doesn't either. do it. The you know what? It was losing the uh, losing the speed signal is real, real brutal. I was just trying to see if there's a way he could. No, there's no, no way. I mean, he, could he just went on tape. He's he's passing the game. No, oh, okay. I was gonna say, can he go double double key cheat somehow, some way? I don't think so. No, there is a single key cheat 
Like like I said, right now, had that neps or had the speed cycle been in play, maybe there's something that can happen. Yeah, well, the speed sigil's in play. He can he can double key cheat and well, probably make that Ewok work. Ewok was looking for one win in the KFPL. It looks like he's found it. And that's that's a real hurt on X-Ray because X-Ray has got two losses. So he is now going to be one in two or one in three. It's going to be real hard to make the cut with a one in three. Yeah. Wow. All right, boy Zerk's doing some work. We'll see if they come back to join us. It's a mighty quiet. Yeah. I was uh, I was hoping to see the 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 sick combo. It didn't happen, but you know, hey. Hello, hello, my friends. Congratulations. Thank you. I, I joined Miss Sydney Steele and that I am no longer in the, the loser's bracket. Well, the the no wins bracket. Okay, fine. The no okay. wins bracket. But that, that that's the first that's the first monkey off the back. And I gotta say, I think I think you uh I don't know if X Ray will be joining us, but I think you may have just crushed his uh oh yep, he's here. Condolences, X Ray. Oh, uh, it's hey, okay. Yeah, Yak Street did not want to yak today. Con congrats, sir. Thanks. I, I appreciate that you gave your Valentine the chance to, you know, win a game. So thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, Yak Street did not yak today. No. So how uh is there a reason you didn't switch off of Yak Street? So my plan was to play Yak Street until I won because to me it was the weaker in my matchup. Okay. So That's, this is also my approach is I play my weaker deck and I go because I gotta get a win with it. So I'm also just get that out of the way. I, I agree with that approach. <coughs> and I you know, I never saw a board clear in game one, which really hurt. Yeah. And game two, I felt really good with the speed sigil and then came down your the strange, strange gizmo. gizmo strange gizmo did yes. you miss did you miss the gizmo or uh no i think okay if i remember right you played it directly after i played my speed sigil yes that, that does uh -huh. sound uh, correct excuse yes. me yes yep I mean, it, it helped with the early Oubliettes on your Ember Imp. Um, and the Oubliettes were dangerous in this deck for in, in the matchup that I was seeing. Oh, yeah. The Oubliettes, that's, that's one of the things that we picked out beforehand is just how many really strong targets the Oubliettes have yeah. against Yak Street. Because it... I, I I had, it was, oh man, what was that? It was turn three where I actually did get TMTP. And I had put it into the archives, and I actually had to pull back and kind of waste it. But it was an important turn for me with the shadows that was there. That was that was really tricky, and I, I didn't know how much I'd pay for it, especially when you went all the way up to was it twelve? Yes. So, and on that, I mean, turn. That, and that that nap seed with the key charge just allows it to be so you, you can do so much with it. I. I thought I might have a, ter a a chance to beat you next turn if I did not use my key charge. But I had yeah. to waive the option of either key charging and not letting you graft me. Because mm -hmm. that's always an option. And hoping for a miracle. And I went with the miracle. Um, I will tell you, I mean, it will not make you feel better, but I actually did not have IG. I did pull it afterwards. Um, but IG was absolutely buried and was down deep. Um, prior to the Nature's Call, I had unlocked, and then I had five uh, logos. So I drew into IG and Pip Pip, but I had Standardized, Titan, Librarian, and then Hexbian. So it was, I, I, I hate to say dead hand, but it, it was not the best hand. Um, logos here with Xerxes can cause some issues there. So 
And I can see that arise. Your arise with this, that's what really freaked me out. And all the playtesting, um, actually even using the nap seed to pull back the arise was pretty scary. Um, my my boards uh, do present some issues. So they're very small, very small in all three decks. Yes. I I felt like my speed never showed up. Not that this deck has speed, but it, it never got into its combos well. Yeah, it looked like you played a lot of chunky feeling hands. That's what we were commenting. Like, that's another two card <laughs> bad hand. That's what it felt like. Yeah, yes. and I mean, even there, you, you did key charge twice, but like it was two two keys and five amber, and I'm like, you're not out of this with what you had in that deck. Um, and, and you saw it, it can go off, uh, and it can go off quickly. Yep, had the speed signal come back Duck. around, which I wonder if that was that was the play was to net speed the speed signal back, but you never really got another shadows turn. Right. do it after your yeah. next came down like a lot of your amber control to do a moderate amount kind of requires him your speed sigil down to get more steel that's that speed yes. sigil just completely favors your deck and in, in in both of the matchups actually all three i was looking at that going man this because you look and go okay what can you get from speed sigil there was so much value on your side and so little value on mine that i'm like oh goodness i had one of the practice matchups had the do fairies just go off um because i didn't have the control the the, the c at that time and against shadow self against some of your um creatures which of the eye to pull things back it was it was just brutal so yes i so in a in a practice game i had against your deck i went off and then kindly got reminded that not only did you have too much to protect but you also had a graft yep (laughs) so i was very aware of that card being in your deck this yeah that that was the one reason that i felt okay pulling the uh tmt out and actually playing it for the amber it I felt fairly comfortable that I could get the key, and by doing that, I felt that it was going to wipe with Gizmo. So that was the reason that I ended up making the call of playing it versus holding it. It is hard to hold. That was a hard card to hold. Um, but, I, I mean, I saw with some of the practice matchups, he builds a board, and you know, I basically have unlocked. I've unlocked, and stan- uh, standardized testing still there, but it's basically unlocked that I would need. Um, so I, I don't know. It, it was interesting to see the matchup. So Wookie was extremely proud of your swindle play. Did you like that? I actually I'm thought that the really proud of the swindle play. I mean, I, I hate to say it, but with that swindle and what was out, I thought it was the best play at that point in time. You know, the board was wiped, and I take them off check, and I get myself to check. So that's a complete win-win. I don't get anything on the board, but. That play did cut deep. It it was it was demoralizing. And you so rarely get to play Swindle for any value, let alone I, I'm gonna pull you off check and take myself to check. I, I was I was all about it. I was so hoping at the time where you started Exhum, I'm like, does he also have the Exhum brand unlocked gateway? I had Exhum. I, I had the double had Exhum those. and and I had nothing else in there, and I'm like, if I had unlocked, sure, but I, I didn't have the unlocked. Yeah, when he started playing the Exum, I'm like, oh man, does he have it too, just to cut even deeper? Oh yeah. Did you did you see that one X-ray where, um, you can basically exhum? You brand. exhum your brand, and then you unlock gateway. That did not I, come I up s- in our testing. I, no. I saw the combo, but I did not experience the combo. There you no. go. Now everyone, now everyone knows my, my game. I'm, I'm out. Yeah, I was hoping he had it. Just, I mean, you'd spent your turn building this little board. Um, I think it was like four, maybe five untamed creatures. And then he went this, and the first thing he played was exhumed. And I'm like, that's going to be just absolutely disgusting if he exhumes Brend to then kill the entire board. Yeah. All right, Andre, how do you, three. how do you feel about Coda now? You know, I I feel like Coda has not aged well in my opinion. 
there's there's a lot of better decks in other sets, and it just it doesn't seem very fast. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong, there are fast coded decks, but overall, some of the better ones have seemed to age not like a fine wine. Yeah, uh, my none of my coda has aged. It's all in the trunk now. Well, I, I hate to say this, but you're looking at the speed. The speed that's on Yak Street. And Yak Street's a phenomenal deck. I mean, you have some great stats there. The rise there. You got Gateway. You still have the hard R. It's the, M the double Ember Imps. Overlord was causing big issues in the matchup. Um but looking at it, that creature control, amber control, it just, some of those stats have gone up in our later sets. And it appears to be the same for DT, for Dark Tidings. So I think the biggest, the biggest thing right now that is really putting the screws to uh, Coda, and it's, it's legitimately one card, and it's Infernus. But there was no Infernuses sure. today in this. Not not today, but I mean, in general, like when you look at a deck, you're like, oh, can I play this Ducks pi Dust Pixie deck, or or things like um, Ghostly Hand, or you know stuff like that? Because if I go up against any Infernuses, I'm basically screwed. Well, just like, there, there was, was there, were six, there were six Infernus in the matchup here in this triad. I, I want that known. And not a single Infernus played today. Yeah, but I mean, honestly, if I was in X-ray spot, I can see that whole piece. There's a little bit of what do you go with first, and you know, you can go ahead and potentially lead to a game three. But I have, I have the same thought. Um, can I go ahead and win with um, my weakest stack? And part of that's matchup. Part of that is, um, you know, <laughs> what you see is the weakest deck out of the three. Okay, so you guys are both one and three now. You got two matches left. You can end up three and three. Hey, don't call it a comeback. Low key. There's a potential money, my three and threes. Walk. That a three and three will be one of the second or third place. It could happen. Um, but you both still have unarmed goat ahead of you, who is undefeated is in your bracket. That that a big shout out to, to Doug. Uh, he does have a name, and actually, he he's been up in our local area playing out at Janesville. So yep. I still remember some good times. And again, he is absolutely hot. And so you know, great job to uh, Doug and to you know, I wish him the best, but not not too much luck because well, both X Ray and I got to take him down. We can do that. That is that is a matchup I'm looking forward to. I mean. Who doesn't want to go against the undefeated? Yeah. Yeah, those should be those should be exciting. So I guess that's what we have for a cast today, right? Again, congratulations, Ewok, and condolences, X Ray. But we'll probably be back. We'll see if we can't cast uh, some more Ewok games here on AC. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. So we're going to sign off for tonight, everybody. Thanks for stopping in and watching. Bye. See ya. Don't call it a comeback. I can't.